So as you can see here, we now have the new version of our CRUD application, the JavaFX CRUD, and we now have the title. And of course, we now have a uh, colored background and with all the icons that we have added into our um, buttons. So we could click on this and then the information here in our text fields are being you know updated by clicking this um, row and all right guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from sandbox code and in this video guys we're gonna be working with our demo crude project or the application that will enable us to create read update and delete records coming from our mysql database so this is actually part three guys of our video tutorial series on the crude topic so we already have added the basic functions such as insert update and delete and essentially in this video we're going to be adding colors and icons and more functions to our crude application and perhaps adding the um, title here in our um, window so the first thing that we're going to add here guys is the capability of our application say for example every time we click a certain row it should display the information so for example the row one if we click on this it should display the id the title the author the year and number of pages here in our text fields so in order for us to do that guys we're going to open up our uh, main.fxml file so open up our main.fxml file and then make sure to select the table view and then under code you must add the handle mouse action event on your on mouse click option right here so after that save your main.fxml file and go back to the netpins ide and then in here you could update your main controller by right clicking the main.fxml file and make a controller so it, it's going to add this particular method right here the handle mouse action method and we could you know um, use this logic right here or this line of code right here tv books that get selection model that get selected item so basically we're just getting the um, row of the table view that has been selected by the user so get selected items in our table view we we set the type into um, books so basically we could use that so we could say here books and then um, we could name this particular object as book so this is the selected item coming from our table view so in here we could try to display first the uh, information for example id we could say here um, book that get id right there and then of course we could also this do the same for other information for example the um, title of the book so we will use also the method get title of course okay so let's try this save our application and we could clean and build this first for us to um, or for us to have a fresher version of our crud application so after that we could run this okay we could run our application and it's here right now if you try to click on this it should output the information here so output where is it output where is it output okay there you go so selected um, row one it should display ID one and of course the uh, the title SDF and row two um, ID is equal to two okay so now now that we have this we could set the information into our um, text fields okay so we could comment this one out now and then we could say here um, tf and then id and then we could set 
the text by using book and then get ID and of course we could also uh, make or do the same for the title also and then book that get title and of course we need also to do the same for our author set text so this will be book that get author and then tf um, year that set text and then book that get the published year and then tf pages that set text and then book that get um, year as you can see here and of course guys um, it's going to complain because this is the integer value and then we're setting this as the text but that's not the proper way of doing it so we could use um, double quotes right here just to concatenate and make this a string or to check the compiler that this is a string okay so right there so we could save this and run our application once again just to see the, the changes that we have made so every time we click on a certain um, row it should we, uh, it's not refreshing so that's why we need to clean and build our application first so clean and build because it's not picking up our changes okay after that one we could now run our application and as i've said every time we click on this it should display the information in the text fields that we have provided so for example uh, from here we could change this into um, we could update the information so for example the title will be methodology methodology book the author is Alexander Fleming just for the sake of example Num uh, year is 1995 number of pages will be so for example uh, 5001 pages and then we could click on this update and it should update the information in our um, table view and we could do the same for the other record so the method or the title of the book is for example introduction to JavaFX um, the author will be John Doe and the publish date is 2006 and number of pages will be 1,400 uh, yeah 1433 and then we could update this and as you can see the changes is now being reflected in our table view now we could add um, different icons to our insert update and delete so that it would make or it would look um, professional per se and we could use an application for that uh, I'm using the Pichon um, icons I think it's icon 88 so you can see here different icons for our applications to uh, use okay so we could select say for example um, the office okay we also have blue and guys this is a good project or a good you know um, small project that could um, showcase the functionality of um, JavaFX so we could add different icons to this so for now uh, insert we could add icons to this so for example add so we'll just change the size of the custom icon for example we're gonna be using 32 px 
size of icon so all we have to do guys let's go back to NetBeans and open up the Pichon or icons 88 or 98 application and we could just drag the icons directly into our package right there and it's gonna be yeah it's icons 8 and we could use this already but we could um, search for another icon so for example the update we could use for example we'll just use this maybe update and we also have delete okay so after that guys we could go back to our scene builder and click on our button so for example the insert and then add a image view into our button so for example like this um, where is it insert and then we could add the image uh, image view to that and we could resize our image view layout and then width is 16 and the height is also 16 and then after this we could um, get the image by using the property uh, properties option and then click on the image add and then open up the the icon so it should be added into your um, button so we could do the same for the other buttons as well so image view let's just grab this and add it into our um, update and also the button delete and once again we could set the image for our delete and then we could change the size for this the same thing 16 and also the height is 16 and we could do the same for our update it should be 16 and it should be 16 and we could change the image also so update okay and as you can see here guys we now have an updated um, view and also we could change the color of our anchor panes so if for example we need to go to lay uh, I mean um, yeah properties and then we could get or set the background color in into something that we uh, would like say for example um, let's try to search for a certain color so for example let's just use this or maybe this okay and then we could get the hex code hex value of our color and go back to our scene builder and just add it here okay so it's going to change the color of our anchor pane and what we can do now is save this and go back to our netbeans id okay and then clean and build our application after this we could run our project once again and it should have the updated version of our application and the last thing that we're going to add here is the title of our application so let's go back to our main.java and then in here we could set the title of our stage it's going to be java effects crude okay save this and then run our application so as you can see here we now have the new version of our crude application the java effects crude and we now have the title and of course we now have uh, colored 
background and with all the icons that we have added into our um, buttons so we could click on this and then the information here in our text fields are being you know updated by clicking this um, row and I noticed some problems right here um, we're returning the year also for our pages so we could go back to our main controller so instead of year it should be pages so get pages and then run our application and basically it should solve our problem okay so it's yeah it's updated and number of pages and year okay so i think that concludes our java effect screwed application video tutorial series and if you have questions guys please let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video